Okay guys, so this is a tutorial for 134. You guys are going to make an exploded assembly view of your selfie stick. Okay. Um, you're going to have a parts list. We'll, we'll do balloons. Um, and, and we're actually going to start working with three pages, uh, three sheets in our, uh, in our drawings. Okay. Uh, we'll have three three sheets uh, that we're going to print out. So, um, go ahead and open up your oops, it's, uh, open up your assembly that you created yesterday. The first thing that we're going to do um, is ensure that that our front view is is um, correctly specified. So, uh, quick look at, and uh, you're going to want to pick like right about here okay now before I I, um, I did this I kind of uh, moved my selfie stick around a little bit so everything was kind of streamlined um, I kind of opened up the handle a little bit so we pulled that out and um, kind of moved move this around so you know, everything's kind of aligned correctly you might have to go into this part right here and um, click and hold and move that um, So look at right there. That's pretty good. Okay. So looking directly at at what I want to be my front view. Okay. So this is my front view. Specify it by right clicking on the little house, and then set current view as, and then go to front. Okay. Next, click on uh, the cube right here, on this little corner. All right. And Kind of went a little crazy on me, and this looks good. We can set this as our home view. So right-click on the house and set the current view as home. Pick this fixed distance. Okay, so we're good now. Go ahead and save it. Okay, click it save, and next go ahead and hit file, and we want to go to new. All right. We're going to uh, work with a new file type. Okay, it's going to be a, a presentation file. Okay, so select presentation, and um, your your selfie stick assembly should be the file that pops up. But if it doesn't, you might have to search for it. Okay, so go to your folder and find find your selfie stick assembly. Um, there's mine right there. Good. That's what I want. Uh, nothing else really needs to change. So you just click open. All right. So here's our new interface. All right. We haven't dealt with this before. Uh, we're going to go ahead. First thing, you have a, a what's called a timeline down here at the bottom, and you can you can click and drag the, the segment operator, and go to uh, go to like nine. Okay. We go to nine, and what we want to do is we want to kind of separate this bad boy. All right. So to do that, what you do is you, you select tweak components, okay? Kind of an order that we want to go here uh, is the last thing we want to move is going to be this right here because we want our, our screw to line up with, with this bracket, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and move my handle out. So what you do is you click it, and then there's some arrows that show up, and then just click and drag those arrows out, okay? And I'll do, do this part. This arrow, see this arrow kind of show up, overlaps, so you might have to zoom in a little bit. And like I said, we don't want to move this part just yet. So then I'm going to go to the other side. Uh, I'm just pressing my mouse wheel down and zooming in. Okay, you guys are familiar with how, how Vente works at this point. I move this out, and then I separate this. It's pretty cool how this works. Let's see here. Dump this part here. Pull that out. So I want to be able to see everything as it's separated. Okay. So I might have to move these out just a little bit more. So you might have to you know, really take your time and try to get 
and so they're kind of even spacing. These are a little far apart, so I'm going to move these back a little bit. This one right here. See, I clicked on the plane and it kind of offset it a little bit. That's what happened back here. Um, try to really try to focus on, on just having your arrows, use the arrows, and not that plane that shows up. Uh, this doesn't look great, but we'll move forward. Let's see here. See how these are staggered a little bit? That's because I hit the plane instead of the arrow. If you don't like it, you can always hit Control Z and undo. Okay. Um, and then, so this one stays stays there. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this pin out. That's true. So everything is separate. Okay. Looking good. Let's move this. Everything's good. Alright, so I can right click and then hit OK once I have everything set. Uh, Alright, next, you're going to go to New Snapshot. So hit this right here. Okay, now we have a new snapshot view. And I want to save it next. Okay, so go to File. I'm going to go to Save As. Okay. Uh, make sure you save in the same folder as, as all your other selfie stick stuff. Um, and we'll call this demo 2. Or the demo, demo. So, uh, and go ahead and hit save. And next, you want to open, file open, and you want to go ahead and find your uh, GBE 11 by 8.5 template. Okay? So mine is there. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Yes. It has it open. So let's see here. Um, no why? Because I put the courses on. Okay. All right, next video, I'll show you guys how to create the exporter assembly view on this sheet.